In remembering those who lost their lives in the London attacks and the September 11 attacks we continue our commitment to fighting for freedom, democracy and justice. Initially, the horrific images of September 11 triggered an enormous wave of solidarity. Since the beginning of the Bush administration when we were attacked, September 11, we've not had any major terrorist attack in this country. We've had individual crazy people, of normally, they look more like me than they look like Middle Easterners. It is a very real concern and my view is that everything changed on September 11th and the procedure, the policies that were in place prior to September 11th no longer should apply. NSA is a very conservative culture legally. Our lawyers at NSA were notorious for their conservatism up through the morning of September 11, 2001. The single most consistent criticism of the NSA legal office by our Congressional Oversight Committee was that our legal office was too conservative. The tragedy of September 11 was so sudden, so enormous, and so horrendous, both in terms of lives lost and global consequences, that this country and the world went into immediate and prolonged shock. I was in New York City for September 11, and I was there for the 2003 blackout. I think in hindsight, you get a real perspective as to how unique those moments of crisis are in a place like New York City. I know exactly when my life changed, when I looked into the face of Tamerlan Sarnaev. It was 2.48 p.m. M. On April 15, 2013, one minute before the most high-profile terrorist event on United States soil since September 11, and he was standing right beside me. The prompt assimilation of that intelligence will be essential if we are to avoid another September 11. Since September 11, Congress has created the Department of Homeland Security, more than doubled the Homeland Security budget and implemented a bipartisan overhaul of our intelligence systems. I don't believe that the Bush administration had something to do with September 11. I do believe that there were a lot of warning signals, but I don't think they were ignored on purpose, Bush just wanted to go to the ranch for a month. A lot of people were moved to write after September 11. It had to affect us all in a way. The country was not focused on terrorism before September 11. For me, there is nothing that encapsulates both our misguided response to the attacks of September 11 and the entire Iraq war itself more than a sense of lost opportunity. After the attacks on September 11, we all learned lessons. The terrorist attacks of September 11 and the courageous actions of our armed forces in Afghanistan and Iraq remind us that friends of tyranny and enemies of freedom still exist. Letting the September 11th Victim Compensation Fund close is not an option. The Republican effort to make the September 11th attack on Benghazi into a scandal is really about one thing and one thing only, Hillary Clinton. If September 11th has taught us anything, it's certainly that the world has never been so interdependent. It is impossible now to be an island of prosperity in a sea of despair. The September 11th tragedy forced us all to look at the world in a different way, and it reminds us all of the importance of living every moment. After the chaos and carnage of September 11th, it is not enough to serve our enemies with legal papers. We must never allow September 11th to become a time for protest and division. Instead, this day must remain a time for promoting peace and mutual respect. But the point is to get a whole new generation of people and people in general more re-engaged in news, and this has happened a lot since September 11th of course. Legislation passed in the aftermath of September 11, 2001 enhanced our intelligence capabilities and strengthened our national defense. But until now our nation's immigration policies have not adapted to the needs of a post-September 11th world. I am certain that I speak on behalf of my entire nation when I say, September 11th we are all Americans, in grief, as in defiance. The September 11, 2012, attacks on the State Department compound in Benghazi, Libya, is important and should be studied because in the big picture. It represents a failed foreign policy that spans across both Bush and Obama presidencies. I am more of a New Yorker than ever and just actually, sometimes I fantasize about living somewhere else, where it's maybe not quite so crowded or stressful, blah, blah, blah and after September 11th, I guess I could just not imagine living anywhere else. As the third anniversary of the September 11th attacks draws near we must ensure our nation is prepared to handle the continued threat of violence and terrorism on our country. Any attempts at humor immediately after September 11th were deemed tasteless. Well, we've faced very difficult decisions and challenges in our country, every one of us have, as we, since September 11th, 
as we fought the war on terror. All of those decisions that the president had to make to put young men and women in harm's way. Even though I was concentrating on that two-week period from September 11th to September 20th, I was seeing the policy for real, happening, that we were talking about in the film. For 20 years, Islamic jihadists have been attacking American interests around the world and we did not take them seriously until September 11, 2001. I remember waking up Tuesday, September 11, 2001, to my wife telling me to put on the TV because I wasn't going to be going into NYC as planned. Dream Theater was working in NYC, at the time mixing our album Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence, and I would have been driving in that afternoon for our session. After September 11, nations from across the globe offered their generous assistance to the people of New York. And whenever our friends around the world need our assistance, New York is there. We're downtown New Yorkers and had very close proximity to the events of September 11th. Like everybody on the island of Manhattan, we were impacted by it in so many ways in terms of what we saw, what we felt, what our daily experience became in the wake of it. In the aftermath of September 11th, it is critical to secure our borders. The devastating punch we took on September 11th still reverberates throughout American society. There are terrible, terrible memories of September 11th, things that I saw, people that I lost, the devastation, the identification of bodies. I mean, all these memories come back to you at different times. And then the other side of it this tremendous response with the firefighters and the police officers saving people, the rescue workers. If, for a moment, it seemed that September 11th could be identified with Iraq, the illusion was short-lived. The first time I realized I was patriotic was after September 11th. In December of 2001, after September 11th, my wife, Jane Rosenthal, and Robert De Niro asked me if I would help them create the Tribeca Film Festival. The idea was to revitalize Lower Manhattan. We would show films on piers, in high schools. It was all about the community. We wanted it to be accessible to everybody. The whole world has changed after September 11th. September 11th was a moment when America had the sympathy of the world. We will always remember the victims of the horrific terror attacks of September 11, 2001. To win the war on terror, we must know who our friends are and where our enemies are hiding. We can't continue fighting terrorism using the same foreign policy blueprints that were in place before September 11. On a Tuesday, September 11, 1973, we had the military coup in Chile that forced me to leave my country eventually. And then, on a Tuesday, September 11, 2001, we had the terrorist attack in the United States. I am not a particularly political person, but, as a Tribeca resident, the commodification of September 11 is offensive to me. I often think about how my sons will come to know about September 11, something overheard, a newspaper image, in school, I would prefer that they learn about it from my wife and me, in a deliberate and safe way. But it's hard to imagine ever feeling ready to broach the subject without some impetus. I can govern by bringing people together. And also, I've been tested in a way no one else has. I was governor on September 11th, and I'm proud of my leadership in bringing New York through that time. And when I left, we were stronger, we were safer, and we were more united than at any time in my lifetime. Since September 11th, federal terrorism investigations have resulted in charges against more than 400 suspects, and more than half of them have been convicted. Visit our website for more quotes quoting.com.